Hey guys, welcome back to another Thank Truck is Friday. This week we're back with another Mercedes Actros L in this beautiful metallic red. It's a really nice colour. I'm going to take you around what we've done on it. Okay, so this truck, we've fitted a light bar on the roof, as I'm sure you can see. It's got the DL245 LED auto lamps, full LED spotlights. They have that lovely DRL through the middle or side light through the middle. A nice straight line that looks really cool. LEDs in the bar as well. Um, and those, so back to those LED spotlights, they're really bright. So when you flash the high beam, you don't need any more than six, trust me. We, to be fair, you get away with four. It's loads of light, loads and loads of light. And we also have our chassis side skirts for the six x two. We've got them color matched in this lovely metallic red. This is a really nice color. This is actually a bit of background knowledge. This is the metallic version of the Actros 5 launch color. Um, when Mercedes launched it, I don't know if you remember seeing some of those images, but it was like a matte red. This is the metallic version. This is, this is nice. Probably not coming off on camera very well, but it is a great color. Um, so yeah, side skirts, and then obviously a full tread safe platform on the back. Those with the eagle eyes will have noticed it doesn't have the safety decals down the side of it. That's because this customer didn't want them, which is absolutely fine. They're, they're an extra if you, if you want them, it's no problem. Um, and that's because this is probably going to be a show truck anyway, so a high-vis decal probably wouldn't have gone with the aesthetics of what the, what the operator wanted. No problem at all. Super safe still though, of course, even without the decals. Got the reverse punch tread on the top, nice anti-slip surface. Also means that if you do happen to fall over, because it's a reverse punch, there's no sharp edges or anything there for you to hopefully not injure yourself on, basically. Covers in everything from left to right. Got a nice easy step access on the other side of the vehicle. There'll probably be some B-roll over my voice right now showing that. Nice clear access, steps which are integrated into the skirt, again with a reverse punch tread. And then you'll see there as well, there's a black marker around the diesel filler cap as well, so you know where you're, where you're filling up. Um, yeah, so that's it from the outside. Now let's jump in the inside and see what we've got in there. Okay, so what have we got inside? Well, we've fitted DVS, obviously very standard nowadays. Um, this particular operator has a separate screen on the specification, which is fine. So you have this seven inch full HD monitor. Um, you probably see on there, Ruby taking some B-roll of the catwalks. <laughs> Um, we can also do an integration as well, which we do do on a lot of the, uh, the Mercedes vehicles, or the Actros in particular, I should say, where we can remove the, the second screen and put everything through the infotainment screen, if you so wish. Um, but, you know, it's all down to preference, what, what different operators want. So, brief overview DVS, if you don't know, it's a near side camera, near side sensors. Um, they go down from the front corner down to the uh, mid lift axle, basically. A left turn alarm. That went off absolutely perfectly on time, so that's great. <laughs> um, and yeah, and it's all speed relative, basically. So if you're under 12 miles an hour, everything is active. And then if it's not detecting anything, the alarm won't go off, obviously. So if you indicate left, um, it will say warning vehicle turning left once. But if it doesn't detect anything, it won't keep saying it, where a lot of systems just keep saying it over and over again, which is obviously annoying. But if the sensors do pick up something, then the warning vehicle turning left carries on all the time. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's the DVS. And then also in here, we have a microwave fitted. We'll jump up. Truck Chef, of course. Um, I don't know if we've shown you one in a factory locker in a Gigaspace before. Maybe we have, I'm not sure. Um, but you'll see here, obviously the Gigaspace locker is nice and spacious, plenty of room around the edge for air to flow. And then our, our famous Truck Chef microwave that I know you've all seen so many times. 20 litres, 800 watt, fully type approved. Proper job for a microwave. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Another Mercedes. I know there's a few of them on the channel, but you know, another great looking truck. Um, thanks very much to Inter County Amit. Um, and your team as well for giving us the opportunity to work on this one. Um, I hope you love it as much as we do. We certainly loved working on it. So yeah, cool. Like, subscribe, bell notification icon, drop us a comment down below if there's anything you've got questions on and that's it. I'll see you next time.